Hey everybody, good morning, good morning, happy, happy Thursday. It's Thursday morning, it's early in the morning yet. And <clears throat> I'm conducting somewhat of like um, a part two, if you would, of a video, of a review that I did. Excuse me. And because of that, what I'm going to say right now is my disclaimer. In no way, shape, or form am I endorsed, sponsored, or ambassador by any company and item in which I speak of. I speak of solely from the heart. Um, I give my most honest review of what I see fit. When I test out a product, when I see something that I like, I buy, I want it to work to the best of my ability. I want it to go above and beyond. Not 100. I want it to go to 105%. That's just me. Um, we all, in this world, we spend a lot of money on things. And especially lately, prices have gone up. Um, and one of the reviews that I want to do, I'm trying to correct a situation, trying to make it to the best of my ability, because the first shot didn't work. And as you know, it would be for the Stanley Tumbler 40-ounce cup. My husband purchased this for me for Christmas. Uh, not over... Not even two weeks ago, we purchased these at Dick's Sporting Goods. Paid a whopper of this. This was what? This was a $45. With tax, it was over $50. Um, I liked it because of the ombre green. Okay, now if you saw my last video, you would know um, the deal is basically for the lid. Well, I was shopping on Amazon for things. And I just happened to, I don't know, I went to things. I went to... Silly little things like cup charms and just things like that for, for cups and tumblers. It wasn't necessarily for a certain brand. But this little box I had purchased and it came yesterday. Okay, and it has three little teeny tiny things in it that is supposed to help the Stanley Tumbler situation. And, you know, basically one of the things are that's my peeve. That should be everybody's peeve because you spend a lot of money on it. I see women that have walls full of these things in their houses. You know what? That's your wall and that's your house. Um, that's a big investment. But the thing is, is that this little thing I paid close to $7 for and I got it yesterday. So I wanted to see if it worked. One of the things are for my tumbler is the lid. Obviously, the lid situation, we know this. I'm trying to make this better so that I can not own any more Stanleys because this is the first and this is going to be the last for me, believe me. Um, but I want to make it more comfortable for me to use. In other words, I need to I need to tolerate it because I don't think it's going to be 100%. It's not. It's never going to be. Although I do own many cups, as you see in my other uh, past reviews, that I swear by. So I'm good with those cups. The thing is with this is the lid situation. Now, I did the installment. This little box came with three little things. One is which is cool. I consider this like a bottle cap. And it has no hole or anything in it. But it's supposed to go over this section. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to install that there right now. And it just fits very snugly over that hole. There is no other hole. There's nothing supposed to be escaping it. The second part that was in the box is this here where you would put the straw through the hole. Okay. This is a double wall silicone seal that you put. Okay. One has a bigger back than the other. I put it on this one because I thought maybe the bigger back would be easier in other words it is supposed to stop the water flow from leaking through the cap now one of the things are i see many people you know this comes with a big ass straw this cup it this this straw is like totally annoying like i said this reminds me of the mcdonald's straw back in the 70s early 80s when i was a kid the milkshake straws to me this is a tubing as part of an industrial suction pump that's what it reminds me of but now, in order to get the straw through, I would have to put, you know, this is the top. I would put it through the top, obviously. Now, it's supposed to give an even more snugger fit, which is great. In other words, I'm not using this anymore. I'm using this now. Now, basically, when you have it, I see people on YouTube, TikTok videos that tip the cup and, oh, look, it's not leaking. Okay. I want it to go a little bit more above and beyond this. 
let me do this up here because I, I need to stand up. Um, first of all, I can't pull the straw out from the front. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push it through the back side of it. All right, let's get that out of there. Okay, now I'm saying to myself when I install these things, the, you know, gee whiz, maybe it has some sort of potential. I see other people doing it, but it's just, I want to yell at the people in the video. I said, no, 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 but I need it this way. No, no, wait a minute, no, but turn it this way. And I'm yelling at the video, which nobody's answering me. I need my things to do certain things, okay? So why not buy your own and conduct your own? So that's what I'm doing. I'm conducting my own review. I want this to be completely dry. Now, obviously you see this. This is a double, this was very, very hard to get in, by the way. So I'm thinking to myself, being that it's more harder to get in, maybe that's true. Maybe there will not be any water seeping through, okay? It's a double piece. So it's silicone. So you have to shove it through to where this part has to come through and go over this part while this part is already over. It, it was very hard to get in. It took me at least a good 20 minutes to get in, okay? It was very hard. It was not easy. And then, like I said, the little... The little cap I call a bottle cap then it came with this little piece which is like to me this would be the ending is to put this on the straw and to shut the straw top which would be a straw straw it I guess it's its own little straw lid it's cute okay cute but it's not going to do anything for me because I'm trying to do what I'm trying to do is shut the cap and lock the cap completely supposing I have hot liquid in here now we all know how I had the hot liquid in here I wasn't a fan of it, but I will say you hear water in here. There is some ice here left over. I filled it nine o'clock last night. It is now 902 and the ice is still in here with some of the water. So that I left in and it kept it cold, but the hot liquid, I would not use this cup for hot liquid, which is what I basically wanted the cup for. But of course that's a downfall. Okay, so let's discuss the lid. I'm really, really, really trying with this lid. I really am. I'm trying every little thing. So what I want to do is, what I don't see anybody else doing, because me, I got to be extra with this, is I want to turn. Here is the original part with the straw. Now, usually they would just go over this part. Some people do. I've seen it. But I don't think they're using this straw. I think they're using a different straw, because this straw is like way too thick to be putting through. Anyway, what I want to do is to completely close this section. I want to put this end, which has nothing on it. I want to reverse it. I want to put this over here so that it seals, blocks this seal. Then this part here where the original straw was will go on the bottom. Okay, see what I'm doing? I'm completely shutting that. So then when you turn it around, the part here with the straw is completely shut. So I'm saying to myself, well, good. That's not bad. Also, the fact that it's such a it's such a thick silicone double wall seal that you have to. How should I say this? Let's say this. This is the hole. I had to put this rubber silicone through the hole, and from here, when I got it through, this part opened and covered this side, and then this part opened and covered this side. So it is a it is a dual layer. Okay, that's what I want to say. So I says, oh, good. Maybe, maybe. All right. So what I'm going to do is now is I have this still filled with water. This here is completely sealed. And I said, oh, good. Now this is sealed also. This doesn't have a hole, like I said. This is Now this is completely sealed. So no, I'm thinking to myself now, no water could see through. Let's give it a shot. Okay. I'm going to put the cap on. And I'm going to, you know me, folks. This is part two of this. By the way, possibly tomorrow, there will be hopefully a part three because there's one more thing that I want to try if this does not work. There is one more thing I have up my sleeve and I'm going to tell you something. That's basically it. I'm, I'm all tapped out for that. I refuse to spend any more money on a cup like this. I really don't. Okay, let's just see this for now. Now, you know me with tightening a lid. I want to make sure it tightens. Okay. That lid is completely tight. The seal is sealed. This is tight. Now, here is the test. My test is that I do not want to see any water coming out of this cup. 
this should not leak after all the crap that is now installed on this one cap. This is an embarrassment, folks. Let's put it that way. Okay, so far, not bad. I'm going to turn the lid. There's the water. You see the water in it. And there goes the water now. So if every hole is sealed and everything is stopped up and that little cap thing in the middle is stopped up, why is there water still coming through it? Okay, it is coming through where the silicone part is. It is coming through that part. This is where it's coming out of. Why is it coming through here? Being that I figured that it had such a tight vacuum seal around that hole. It had a better tight vacuum seal around the hole. Why is it coming out? Now, you know what? Let's see if I can put the original cap on top of this and let's see what happens. I know it, I know this has the rubber thing. It's still coming out. What I wanted to do was completely close it. So I am going to take this, close this, keep this on the bottom, just the way I was. I want to know if it is such a tight vacuum seal. Why, oh why, oh why, oh why is it leaking? Why? This is an embarrassment. So now I spent $7 more on these three little pieces, which the straw cap, there's no need for. What I wanted to do, what my thing was, is to completely seal the cap. This is an embarrassment. Why can't Stanley just come out with a cap that solely locks? There are so many other cups out there for less money that have a cap, a lid, that does everything. And yes, the lids do seal, except for this. You're spending a lot of money on this. And the fact that Stanley with Starbucks just came out with the Valentine pink edition that I saw everybody running through the Target store for to grab one of those cups are now being sold for close to $300 on eBay. Why? What is the problem? What What is the deal with this? Do, you know what? You really, I don't know. It's your money. It's an embarrassment. It really is. I mean, if you're thinking of buying something as an investment, this sure as hell ain't it. Let's put it that way. Why is it still leaking with all the seals tightly shut? Why? Why? <clears throat> I don't understand. But it's your money. So this is going to conclude this video. And this little great little box that I ordered from Amazon with the three little pieces, as you can see, did not do anything. All right. So my Stanley Cup tumbler will not be used the way I want it to be used. Okay. Because when I do a review, this is what I want. I want to see everything from all angles. Now I'm giving this a fair shot. I gave it a fair shot the first time. And I also used hot liquid. Now, the hot liquid in here is supposed to stay hot for about five hours. After three hours, it just started fizzling out. It started getting lukewarm. I can't drink my liquid like that. And obviously, I can't reheat it unless I put it into another cup, a regular cup to throw in the microwave and then put it back in. I'm not going to do that. That is ridiculous, especially if you're out outside, out in public. This cup is not the hype. It's ridiculous. There are so many other cups out there that do a much better job. Okay? And even with all these parts, with all the parts that I just connected with it, did not do anything. Okay? Did not do anything. So, you want it that way, that's your thing. This is going to conclude part two of this review. Now, tomorrow, there may just be a part three. I have one more shot to redeem this. And I mean, I can't give it a more fair chance. After the third time, maybe after tomorrow, is going to be the end. You know, I just, I'm just going to have to take the loss. This is the cup. This, this is the way it is. There's nothing else to do about it. This is ridiculous. Okay. Everything that is on it is crap. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave your comments in the comments below. Thank you so much and love to all. Save your money, buy a better cup. And you know what better cup I'm talking about because I already did the review on it. You can't beat it. And as a matter of fact, I purchased another cup. It's, it's on its way. All right. Love to all. Have a wonderful Thursday. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.